Welcome back. Today, we're going to talk about Autolink clarinet mouthpieces. Yes, they actually made clarinet mouthpieces. They had their regular slant sig and a reso chamber mouthpiece. I happen to have one of the reso chamber ones. I had a slant sig one before and I sold it. But here's an Autolink reso chamber. Not sure you can see the throat. That's what the throat looks like. Nothing very different on the tip. There's a rollover baffle, as you can see. Up here, you can see it kind of flat and then goes down to the throat. But let's talk about the outer link mouthpieces right now. Okay, this is the website I mentioned, woodwindform.com. I was doing mouthpiece reviews back in 2008 and before. I used the Selmer Center Tone, LeBlanc LL, and an early Buffet R13. But what we have here is we have two of the mouthpieces. And the Autolink Rust Chamber 5. And I put in here, it's not a selection for symphony players. Um, I originally tried 3.5 and 5 star and just couldn't play on it. Down to a three was much better. On the Blanc LL, it made the LL just roar way too much. It was hard to hold it back. So I really didn't consider it very good for medium-sized bore. On the left-hand tones, the upper joint, the, the tone was I have in here were weak and thin. But the right hand was more full and robust. So it really wasn't a good match for the LL. On the large bore Selma CT clarinet I tried it on, I have to say I remember this is an absolute joy to play as put in here. There's no limit on being very expressive in your dynamics, really high dynamics, really low dynamics. Simply got louder and louder and louder no matter how much you pushed it. But then it can go back down to a really, really small whisper. It was very responsive, very excellent tone top to bottom. And the one surprising thing about this mouthpiece too, I remember, was the Shamala register was it gave a sweetness to the tone in a way that I never really heard from a CT before. But when you start going through the clarion, it just, the sweetness has disappeared altogether. And also the other problem I have is I could not get above Altissimo D um, with that mouthpiece and the reed I was using. I'm sure with a better reed selection, um, more practice, I could get it. But getting above Altissimo D just cracked and that was about it. But I have to emphasize here the sweetness, I could compare it to a you know, mid 1960s R13. So it was a really good match to the CT. And I was going to look for a smaller tip mouthpiece to try it out, but I never continued with that. So I consider that mouthpiece for large bore CT Series 9, RC, you know, Buffet RC Prestige, and uh, BH 1010s, LeBlanc, Blanc, LeBlanc Dynamics. And Dominique's would be really good for it. So it's a it's a good mouthpiece, especially if you play in a big band and a jazz band or something, and you play a large bore clarinet. I think it would be one to get, maybe in a smaller five or four star mouthpiece. Try it that way. So I gave it a rating on the R13 and the LL. I gave it a C rating, and on the A, on the CT, I gave it an A rating. Now I also have a review of the Autolink Slant Sig Six right after the reservoir chamber. And on the saxophone world, the slant sig is a holy grail of hard rubber mouthpieces. And I remember the tone of this thing, and I'll repeat this over and over again, the tone was very, very clear. It was, I have here very clear and crisp, unlike the covered sweetness that the reservoir chamber gave it. Uh, the tone I put down was more reserved throughout, and I keep repeating, boy, is it clear, it's just, it just flew and it, it it projected. It could go through, you know, a horn section. It was a really, really good mouthpiece for projection, but the tone was really clear. And it was good in altissimo notes. Uh, so you can cut through a band too without very much problem. Very well balanced tone throughout the range of clarinet. 
articulation. It, it, just, it was a really great mouthpiece for playing the big band when you didn't have a microphone. It's just you have to understand that the tone was really just clear, didn't have any coloration to it. I put it on here, C, T, and A, but different in the rest of the tone, very clear. And I never tested with the LLR13 after I tested the rest of the ch chamber on the other ones. I knew it probably wasn't a very good match. Once again, I'll put that link to the website in the, in the description. And I'll also probably make a PDF of it because that website's been yeah, a little bit dormant over the years. Anyways, I have in here slant sig, hibernated bar stamped above the top ligature line. Reg um, register your patent office just below the ligature line, auto link slanted on the body. The serial number 91X is stamped below the ligature lines. So here's a picture of one. Has the same qualities, visual qualities as the saxophone slant sig rubber mouthpiece. See, Uberator Bar, registration US patent office, slant sig, serial number on there too. The ringed double line bar there. Looking up the throat, a little bit fuzzy. You can see it's a wide H, kind of like an A throat in a way, providing a good airflow through it. And that's the slant sig. Now we get to the reso chamber, which also has ebernated stamp above the ligature line, registration US patent office. Reso chamber's main emblem with the reso on top and chamber on the bottom cir surrounding circle. Auto link is marked in slanted chain circles. Five star on the bottom of the table. And it's a wide A-frame throat. On the table, we see a five star. On the top, you see the reso chamber surrounding a little circular chamber like clarinet. As a main emblem, auto link on the bottom, Uberated in registration, patent office on the top. And there's the throat. As you can see, that's a quick review of the auto link mouthpieces for clarinet. I would um, really for jazz clarinets, and probably both of them are really good for large bore clarinets. So if you ever get a chance to try one of these, I would. I'll probably be selling my Autolink Reza Chamber sometime soon because I forgot I had it. Anyways, give a like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you later.